What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we will be diving into routes with expressions in Laravel. Quick pause, do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? Well, you can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits just as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link will be in the description down below. A pretty cool feature that Laravel offers is adding regex patterns for your route parameters. At the moment, we're telling our show route that the route parameter should be an ID, which is equal to a number. By adding a regular regex expression, we're going to tell our route that it should only match a particular pattern. For our ID, we got to tell that it only should accept numbers. In Laravel, this can be done with a method which is called method chaining. Method chaining is an interface that allows you to chain method calls, which eventually results in less code. In order to add method chaining, we got to go right after our closing parentheses of the show method, add a dash, followed with a greater than sign, where we got to define the method name that we would like to chain on our route. In our case, we're going to chain the where method. At the moment, we're receiving an error message because it accepts the name of the parameter with the expression. So let's start off with the parameter. In single quotes, we're going to say that our ID should be, so comma, another set of single quotes, a regex pattern of brackets. Inside the brackets, we're going to say number 0-9. And right after our closing bracket, we're going to add a plus. So it can be 10, 11, 12, and so on. If we save it and navigate back to the browser, refresh our endpoint, we get to make sure that we change article to block. You'll see that 100 has been printed out, and this works fine. If we change it to, let's say, Dari, You'll see that we're getting an error message saying that the get method is not supported when adding a string as a route parameter. Now the same thing can be done for strings. So let's navigate back and let's duplicate the line of code that we have and let's comment out the ID. Now for the duplicated route, let's change ID to name where we're going to show the block endpoint where the name is equal to not 0-9, but capital A dash capital Z the lower cases as well, so A dash C. Now let me actually add this on the line below, which makes it a little bit easier to read. If we save it and navigate back, refresh it, you'll see that Dari is accepted, which is a string. And if we change it back to, let's say 100, we're getting the same error message as before because an integer is not supported right here. We could even make it more advanced by passing in multiple parameters and regexes. So let's navigate back, let's copy this line and let's comment it out and let's duplicate it on the line below. Right in front of our variable name, let's add a variable ID as well. So both of them, so block ID and then name. Let's remove everything that we have inside our where method because we're going to define two regexes right here inside an array. So let's add brackets and hit enter. All right. Now this will be a key value pair. The first one will be the ID which has a value of a string brackets plus, and the value is 0-9. And the same thing needs to be done for our second parameter, which will be the name, which has a value of a-z, a-z. Save it, let's navigate back to Google Chrome, change our endpoint to forward slash block one forward slash Dari. You'll see that this works fine. And if we do it the other way, so Dari forward slash one, you see that once again, we're receiving a 404 because the parameters do not match the regex. Laravel isn't Laravel if it hasn't defined helper methods for what we're doing right now, which makes your life a lot easier. Whenever you are dealing with a name or ID, Laravel defined a pretty cool helper that you can implement. So let's navigate back and let's comment out what we just did right here. And let's uncomment the first route that we defined where the ID is a number. Let's remove the entire where method where we're going to chain the where number method. Now the where number method will check whether it matches the regex we defined before. We do need to pass in a value right here, which is the name of our route parameter, which will be ID. Save it and let's navigate back. Our endpoint needs to be changed to forward slash block forward slash one. This works fine. If we change it to Dari or Ari, you'll see that we're receiving the same error message. Now the same thing can be done for the name. So let's comment out this line again and uncomment the block forward slash name endpoint where we're going to remove the where 
method and replace it with where alpha. And here we need to pass the route parameter name of name. Save it, let's navigate back, refresh it, and Ari has been printed out. Let's change it to a number, and we're once again getting the same error message. Finally, the power of method chaining comes in clutch right now for our last route. Let's navigate back, and let's comment out what we just copied, and uncomment the where clause where we have an ID. Remove the entire where clause actually, where we're going to chain the where number method first, which has the ID. Then on the line below, we can add another chain, which is the where alpha. And this needs to be the name. So let's add that. Save it once again. Let's navigate back to the browser. Refresh our endpoint forward slash 10 forward slash Dari. You'll see that this works because it matches the pattern. And if we change it to Dari forward slash 10, we're getting a 404. This was it for this video where I showed you how you could use regex patterns and helper methods on your Laravel routes. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.